I open up late at night, in the best hotel in Busan, screams could be heard everywhere, Abwatta. Who are you people? Sh shut up and come out if you don't want to die. Hurry, hurry, move. The mysterious terrorists burst in at night. They took the elevator to each floor, breaking the doors of sleeping guests and taking them as hostages. People were surprised to see guns pointed at their faces when they woke up. The terrorists forced them to wake up and gathered them to the first floor. Is this the last floor? Yes. Let's get it done quickly, or boss will get angry. The corridor was already chaotic. Across the chaotic corridor where the assailants pointed their guns and yelled at the screaming hostages, two terrorists went to their jobs, taking hostages from the remaining rooms. A terrorist was trying to break the door. Another terrorist next to him said and grabbed his hand to stop him. Wait. There's something I want to try. I have always wanted to shout this out whenever I break someone else's door. What? Just listen. The terrorist listened to him and laughed as he was speechless. I cannot believe it well. That's good. It can also be a man's dream. I'll do it with you. you. Thank you. Let's start on a count of three. One, two, three. So they kicked the door at the same time and shouted together. Why open up? As they went through the broken door. The half-asleep man in bed shook his hand once. Suddenly they were hit by their own gun stock and fell down. It was a vain end. Who the hell are these bastards? Ah, oh, I woke up from my sleep and murmured, rubbing my half-asleep eyes. Gosh. Suddenly there were noises everywhere, and two masked men were pointing guns at me when I woke up. I was so surprised. So I manipulated their guns with my telekinesis and hit their heads. Hit their head. They passed out under my bed after the surprise attack. Who are they? <coughs> oh, what's going on? Subin and Slujian, who were sleeping next to each other, finally woke up. Gosh, what the hell were we doing during this chaos? When I woke up, the sound that I could hear was no different from hell. The sound of people screaming crying, shouting, the sound of breaking, smashing, shooting, I had no choice but to say this, I think there's been a terrorist attack seriously, I'm a guy who doesn't swear, but fuck it, isn't this too much, what the hell did I do wrong, I've only been on two trips so far, but why did accidents happen both times, there are so many hotels in Busan, why, is this happening to my hotel, no matter how much I think about it, the world seems to hate me. It's unfair. I'm certain that I've lived nicely well. Not really but I'm proud that I've lived a sincere life. How come? God created me, Kim Davin, but also created those vicious villains. God, let me be a righteous villain again today on what the hell is going on here. Susan, who woke up from her sleep, looked around with tired eyes. She had a bothered look as if there's something else going on in vain. I guess she doesn't even get scared anymore. Are you used to terrorism now? Wait, let me check the parking lot. So I teleported quickly to my car in the parking lot. Move it, move it. Carry the supplies. Get your weapons. The underground parking lot was already a mess. There were dozens of military trucks full of masked men. Newby, stop. This place is hell. I was going to take Sylvan and Subin here if the place was safe. But it seems impossible. Beery, rummage rummage. First, I packed the necessary things from the basket I brought. A yellow mask that can cover my entire face. Check face. Check. Wireless earphones and connections. If I want to contact Sylvan in case we're apart, I have to bring this. Check the guns if I went with my original plan. The machine gun would be too much. So I only took the small handguns with me. For the time being, having things packed quickly, I looked outside the hotel for a while and then moved back to my room. I moved so hurriedly that the action only happened in less than a minute. Coming back quickly, I handed over the items to Sylvian, who looked anxious, and Subin, who quietly looked into the market. Now, take your handguns first Subin, you probably already know how to use it. Sylvian, I taught you last time, right? The outside is still a mess and full of people screaming. We will get caught if we stay here for too long. So let's explain to them quickly. It seems like there's a terrorist attack outside. Armed cars are just going around the road. Helicopters are flying. And it's not fine. So, 
I want you guys to stick with me from now on. First, let's pretend we're hostages. They nodded at my words. I don't know who the hell it is. But which bastard dared to wake me up? I cannot forgive you. Hell be on the first floor. Ha. Huh? I wanted to live a normal life. I grasped my gun. Gun. Oh, this cool, heavy sense. It's been two months. It's time to go back to being the villain egostic. Dayton, why are you posing in this situation? Suwon's absurd gaze made me feel awkward. So I put the gun deep in my pocket. Fortunately, I only wore black sweatpants when I went to bed. So there was no problem putting them in my pocket. Imagine how embarrassing I would be if I wore four pajamas with sky blue clouds on it. I packed my guns, put the earphones on, and put my mask deep inside my pants. Here? The preparations are done. Well, let's go now. As I turned my head to them, they followed me with a nod. As we got out of our room, everything was a mess. The pottery is broken and the sprinklers are working. Sprinklers are working. It's crazy. What are you doing? Move faster. Faster? The assailants were holding guns and yelling at people. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm going. I'm going. I walked aside, pretending to laugh slightly. If you don't hurry up, the gun held by the person who kept talking was manipulated with my telekinesis and hit his nose with the gun stock. The man collapsed. You were too talkative. Fortunately, no one noticed it since it was chaotic. The hostages seemed to be out of their minds. Of course they would be. Who would have thought that they would be dragged out in their pansy while sleeping at a hotel? Various people, including men, women, family members, and bald men were being dragged away. Is this what a red bean cracker is like at night? Oh, I arrived in front of the elevator as I was moving around the corridor blending in with other hostages. Now, go down the stairs. Quick, quick, these guys were pushing people down the narrow stairs. This is the th floor, and they are asking us to take the stairs seriously. I clenched my teeth at the cruelty of the cold-blooded bastards. It's not enough to wake a sleeping person up. Now they're making people go rock climbing. I'm going to kill you all. We cannot go down there. I whispered to both of them on my side. Hold tight. And teleported casually and gently. It's a bit it may be a little tiring. But I have no choice. How can I go down the stairs step by step? I don't think anyone saw us disappear. If someone saw it. They would think that they saw it wrong. At the lobby of the hotel. This place, where a few hours ago calm classical music was played and people talked in an antique way, suddenly became the atmosphere of Jagalchi Market. Corey's largest seafood market which is always crowded and noisy, in this place that is as huge as a cathedral, people sat tightly like bean sprouts. Meanwhile, mass terrorists patrolled with guns. At this late night, people should have ended their day peacefully in this hotel. But instead, it has turned into a horrible and chaotic thick end. And they piled up a bunch of chairs, which were scattered all over the lobby, like a tower at the front door. The chairs were turned back to the door to prevent anyone from getting inside as a barricade. And in the middle of the piled up chairs, only one luxurious chair was placed. And the man sitting with his legs crossed in the middle of the chair tower, a class villain, Monkey Spanner, the man was sitting with a cigar in his mouth fiddling his twisted beard on both sides as if he were a pirate king. Did you gather all the hostages? He chewed on the cigar and asked the staff at the bottom of the chair tower. The staff shouted in a voice full of spirit. Yes. All the people from floors. We've secured them down here. Okay, all right. The man sat fiddling his beard for a long time, but soon got up from his seat. His huge muscles wriggled as soon as he got up. As he began to stand up, the masked cameraman hurriedly set up the set. In this huge and crowded place, in this crowded lobby, people were holding their breath, and the only thing that could be heard was the sound of that man getting up from his seat. Soon, he raised up his heavy body and shouted at the front, I mean, to the camera, in informing the association and the government, speaking heavily. He immediately took a breath and shouted loudly, right here. We're holding thousands of hostages. If you don't deposit the money into the account that I'm about to tell you now. I'm going to kill everyone. My account number is 1. 0. 0. 2. 
While he was shouting out loud like that's all, suddenly, amidst those hushed hostages, some clapping began to be heard. Clap, 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 in this quiet space, except for his scream. It was so weird to hear someone clapping hands. Even Monkey Spanner, who was broadcasting live, paused while talking. The place suddenly became quiet. Only the clapping sound could be heard. The nearby citizens turned their heads with astonishment and horror to search for the madman who was clapping. I rose quietly from my seat, receiving those glances. I continued clapping. An agro needs to be done like this, this, this. <laughs>